Hey guys, welcome. My name's Tyson Vince with the RV Shop located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Got an exciting product for you today. Today I want to walk around and show you the new ATC Play 700. The model I'm going to show you today is the 4023. This unit is 41 foot 3 inches long. It's 13 foot 5 inches high and it's a gross weight rating of 21,000 pounds. It's pretty impressive. I want to show you. Come check it out. So the ATC Play 700 is the highest package you could get in the ATCs. Now, a lot of you guys may have seen that ATC a few years ago did a game changer. Well, the game changer has now been replaced with the Play. It's still the same model. This is the, the 700 though is gonna be their Pro Series. So this is the top of the line. This is the most loaded out unit you could get. And it's gonna come with a couple packages that I'm gonna show you today. Uh, one cool thing that you get on the 700 is you're gonna get all the blacked out trim. So everything around it's gonna be black versus just the satin finish. Um, you're going to get uh, frameless windows. So as you can see, the windows are a little more modern look. They do louver out to let air through. Um, you're also gonna get a upgraded floor, which I'll take you inside and a few other features. But here on the outside, as we walk around, the first thing you're gonna see is you're gonna see a small door here. The neat thing about this is a pump. So you bring your toys, you bring your Jeep, you bring your your side by side. You've got a fuel holding tank on board and a pump right there to fill up all your toys. All nice and neatly lined. Down low, we've got a LP hookup. So we have two um, large bottles on the front of the ATC. You fill those bottles up and then you can hook up your outside grill here. Now as we walk back a little bit, one cool thing about ATC is you're gonna see as I walk you through it, I'm gonna hit on this several times, is the quality of the ATC, the fact that Everyone, you already know this if you're looking at it, it's all aluminum, hence the name, ATC, Aluminum Trailer Company. This unit has no wood in it, very few screws. Everything is aluminum welded together and finished. But some of the other things you're gonna see is, look at the insulated door. I mean, this is a heavy insulated door. They do a great job, heavy shocks, heavy duty latches. So this is a trailer that's gonna last for a long time. Of course, we've got pass-through storage here in the front. We do a, they do the coin floor on the inside, very easy to clean. Um, as you look through, you can put long tables, chairs, a lot of different things you can, you can put in here. And it stays nice and neat and will last for a long time. You've got controls on the outside uh, in the storage compartment, which will control your six-point leveling system. So just by the push of a button of this trailer, as soon as you're done unhooking will automatically level itself no need for blocks um, and it's a heavy duty system as we come to the entrance door one thing that atc does is they do a friction door as you can notice it's going to stop in certain spots wherever you put it so you put it out opens up holds back you don't have any type of latches that you need to hold the door back it's going to come open up give you a good wide door they use a lippard solid step Three step, very easy to open and close. Get right inside of it. We got a large grab handle on the side, and then we're gonna have 110 mounted right at the door and a place for the cable hookup. So if you have cable vision at the campground you're staying at, you can hook right on. And then play, uh, put a TV outside so you can set up camp. One thing you're gonna notice is the larger windows. Again, they're all a louvered window. As we walk to the back a little more, all the bigger trailers are gonna get the Goodyear Endurance tires. As you get into these larger fifth wheel ATC trailers, you notice a 25 foot awning all the way across, all electric, push of a button, comes right out, and then all LED lit uh, strip inside of it, kind of light up your campsite at night. If you notice the smooth texture on the outside, they use aluminum panels, and then on the inside, they use Asdale. Asdale's a, uh, also a mold resistance in it, so it keeps the trailer from ever getting a moldy smell. Uh, this trailer's, again, this is a lifetime trailer. I mean, everything from front to back, extremely well built. As we come to the rear, of course, all the ATCs are toy haulers. Um, so what you're gonna see is a large ramp door. I love the latches on the back. You don't have to go buy a uh, padlock. They come, they come keyed, heavy duty latches but simple to open. Anyone can open it up. It's not heavy at all. 
you've got a 4,000 pound rated door. So you want to drive a four door Jeep in, put it in the back, no problem. One hand, I can lift it right back up and close the door. And locks right back. Also across the rear, you can see we've got three outside scare lights, all built in LED that are on clear clearance lights that are all LED, and then a Voyager uh, technology pre-wire up at the top. So if we wanted to install a backup camera, very simple uh, install. As we come around to the, uh, the roadside, you're gonna see in the very rear, they mount their uh, ladder. It's, uh, it does come get out the way. Right now it's in the open position, very easy to climb up on the roof. Uh, we do option for a platform that could be mounted on the roof and you can store you know, a lot of pod, gear, or if you like to do some type of tailgating and you wanna get on the roof, again, that's all not a problem, we can do that. Um, the very rear, again, the ladder, just by lifting it up, removing two pins, it, it tucks away, comes right back down. So it's something that you necessarily don't have to store in one of your compartments and take up storage. Just kinda of stays on here, and looks good and finished. Right above the triple axle, you're gonna see that there's two gas tanks. One is labeled for the generator and the other is the fuel station. So if you did wanna put a non-ethanol fuel on this fuel station, that maybe the fuel's gonna sit in for a little bit longer time, you can put that in here. Now, as we keep walking to the front, they did, if you look down low, they did a storage pod, which this storage pod will hold your sewer hose. So again, you don't have to store that inside, nice and neatly outside. That is something gross that most people don't wanna mess with. We've got a, uh, a dump here, uh, right below on the side of the storage tank. And then to dump the two tanks, your black and gray uh, valves are both, both labeled. That's where you'll pull it here. 50 amp, of course, in all of our trailers. And this is where the other cable will go from the other side. So if you had cable at the campground, you could pump it in here, feed it to the other side. Uh, we use a Truma AquaGo water heater. Uh, this is a tankless water heater, which will run and uh, keep your water, you know, hot for a long period of time. As we come, keep coming to the front, we've got our connections for our city water and our fresh water. We also have a sewer clean out in the back and an outdoor shower. One thing that all ATCs have that I think is really neat is they're all, they all use lithium batteries. They actually mount their batteries inside this storage compartment you punch in, you can see in those black uh, cases, you've got two 100 amp lithium batteries. And it also has a solar system, solar panels on top. So this unit's gonna constantly be charging itself, even if the generator is not running or if it's not plugged into shore power. We walk to the front, you can see down low, the nice chrome exhaust for your generator. Up in the front, we've got a Kurt Rotoflex 3,000 pound hitch. And then up in the front, we've got the 7,000 watt gas generator and two large seven and a half pound bottles of propane gas. Now inside the ATC, you're gonna see, again, you're gonna keep seeing quality, you're gonna keep seeing aluminum throughout this entire trailer. They've also added some technology uh, this year. They went to a Firefly system, so mounted on the controller right when you walk in you've got a digital screen and a firefly now now the rv industry has been using firefly for quite a while which will control everything from your lights to your air conditioners to your the water pumps water heaters start and stop your generator we can do everything from this controller we also can have the mobile app go straight to our phone and then we can download it we can everything that's on that firefly we can control it uh, now this in the 4023 does have a slide so again the slide can be controlled uh, through this also, the bed lift in the back, I'll show you in a minute, can also um, be operated through the, um, through the app. As you can see, this floor plan is a really open or sectioned off floor plan. Like, we can do it both ways. So, as you can see, it's pretty open. Feels like you can drive a vehicle in, but you're going to notice that you've got a wall here. So, this wall is a vapor wall, so it can be removed. We can completely take this wall out, or we can take this wall out from its position where we're at and we can move it back here. So if we wanted a larger, let's say, live-in kitchen area, no problem. Uh, we, can, we can make that change and give us a smaller garage. Maybe you're only gonna bring some dirt bikes and you still want a lot of living area, we can do that. Or maybe you have a long four-door Jeep, something that's gonna drive in here and take up a lot of space. 
again, we can remove this vapor wall. And you can always put it back. So once you get your toy out, you know, you're set up for a while, easy, no problem. The wall easily unsnaps and moves. Um, also, what you're gonna see in this unit is you're gonna see a lot of this track running all the way down the sides and it's down the floor. And what it does is we can tie in maybe dirt bikes or anything you wanna tie down. That's an airline track that we can put little tie downs into and we can tie down whatever toy you're bringing inside of this vehicle. As you see, there's three airline tracks mounted into the floor, all flush mounted. And this is single planks of aluminum uh, paneling. So this is going to be set in into planks. So if one's ever damaged, it, it could be changed, not a problem. Or uh, it's just a really solid uh, floor that if it did get wet, not a problem. If the Jeep had mud on it and it dropped mud, not a big deal. We can come back when you're done and you can wash everything out in this trailer and keep this trailer looking clean. Again, the mats of the, uh, the woven composite mat flooring that comes down really gives it a little more homey feel so it's not necessarily so sterile. In the galley, you're gonna see the unit we're showing you is gonna have the white cabinets, cabinets in it. Uh, these are polar white cabinets. We do it in a linen beige, we do it in a, a pewter, a charcoal. Uh, there's a few different colors that you have the option to maybe customize your trailer a little bit if you don't necessarily like the white, no problem, we can do different colors. Um, now, all of the bigger trailers are gonna have the Norcold uh, refrigerator, two big doors in the top, and pull out drawer with built-in ice maker below. As we move to the stove, we've got a built-in LEDs on the knobs, oven below, three burner stove on top, all gas. All, we can do white solid surface countertops is what you see here, or you can do it in black if you prefer black. Just depend on, you can kind of customize how you want your build. Pull out sprayer, black knob, drain. This also can cut, double as a cutting board and then cover up the sink cover as well. As we look up, they mount the TV up high, kind of out the way, which is nice. Kind of stays clear. Microwave with convection oven and a uh, MB Quartz AM FM radio, Bluetooth, um, all to that, uh, that system. Throughout the trailer, you're gonna see a lot of cabinetry and all completely finished. One thing about their cabinets you're gonna notice is it's all aluminum. All the pan is aluminum, the base is aluminum. Everything in this trailer, again, is aluminum. Good latches that are gonna, once they close, they're not gonna come flying open as you're traveling down the road. I mean, these are heavy duty latches. Again, if you put something in there that spills in a drawer, no problem, take it out. We can hose everything down because it's all aluminum. There's no wood. Got built-in LED lights, as you can see underneath. And one thing I think is really cool, you can also change these LED colors to whatever color you like. You want purple, you want red, you can do it all, do a few different settings. Now you've probably seen, if you've researched ATC at all, that airline track that the furniture mounts to, it can be moved. If you don't like the placement of this uh, bench, you can move it to the other side as anywhere there's airline track. If you notice in this particular model, I've got the sofa mounted good ways back. Again, this vapor wall can be removed. The sofa can be brought up. So you've got a lot of configurations you can do with the furniture on board. Um, we option for a large table. If that's something that you need, you can mount a table to the side. This is a the bench setup on, in this particular model. You can do it with a freestanding table and four chairs if you prefer that. Um, but this can double up as sleeping. So generally that's how we like to spec our units. Uh, again, to the back, we're gonna have two sofas that are gonna come down, flip down. You've probably seen it in several videos. Also a queen size bed mounted all the way in the top by just the push of a button. These beds will come down and um, double into sleeping area or sitting area, depending on what, you, what your needs are. Um, they do a great job of putting lights, switches, very easy to find. Um, this is the gray color uh, wall board. You can also do it in a beige if you prefer beige. We've got 110 plugs throughout. And as you come to the back, you can see I've set up the ramp. Now, as you can see on this Play 700, the ramp on the back can hold a thousand pounds of weight. Uh, you've also got a, you know, a nice large area if you want to bring a barbecue pit out here and cook. You also have a two screens that drop down and can zip up. So on a nice comfortable day, we can drop them down, still have out access to outside but you still keep inside free of bugs and clean as possible. 
We've got steps to in a gate. Just by opening the gate, we can walk in and out pretty quickly. Also in the 4023 model, you're gonna notice there's a big loft up top. There's good sleeping space up top. I mean, and it's it's wide. I mean, this is the full width of the trailer, you know, eight foot six trailer. I mean, it's it's every bit of eight foot wide. One large adult or two kids can get up there without a problem. Now, as we walk up the stairs, you can see we've got the full bathroom. We've got a nice large shower. They give you a shower curtain, give you plenty of room, full size vanity and toilet. Everything is trimmed out in aluminum from your door frames to all your cabinets again. As we walk into the bedroom, you're gonna see we option for a king size bed. It is optional to do it in a queen as well. On both sides of the bed, you still get nightstands. You get a larger nightstand on this side and a little bit smaller on that side, but they both still have the 110 plugs and 12 volt outlets. We've got overhead cabinetry, all finished out in aluminum, of course. On the slide out in this 4023, it is optional and we've got a little bench so we can sit down, tie our shoes, uh, just give you a little bit more space inside the bedroom. And then we've got a couple lockers in the front. There's a place on the wall where we can mount a TV if you wanted that as an option. So guys, that's the video on the ATC Play 700 4023 floor plan. We always try to keep this floor plan and several other floor plans in stock, which we'll have videos coming in the future on those units. Um, but again, my name's Tyson Vince with the RV Shop, and thanks for watching.